Hey guys, Ben here with Reclaim Living. Well, it's been a busy day. Getting uh, all my uh, fig trees uh, together, uh, getting ready for the dormancy period. And I want to show you what I'm doing and what I've been up to, okay? Uh, so, uh, it can help you if you have fig trees or fruit trees or what have you, and uh, we'll take it from there, okay? Frost is coming. It's coming tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to show you this one. Uh, this is actually uh, my friend Ricky's. He's going to come and pick it up sometime soon. Ricky, where are you, buddy? Come and get your trees so you can put it in the ground. All right, so uh, I want to show you that uh, this particular tree, I mean, it does have uh, figs, but it's, it's not going to matter. You see how brown it is? Okay, that means it's lignified. It's ready for the winter, and it's hardened. Now this is a one gallon pot and I want to show you what I did with all of them because I transferred all of them into uh, seven gallons. So let me show you what I did here. See all these guys here? Right here I think I have about uh, 17 or so. These are seven gallons. They're all in seven gallon fabric pots and they're all marked I have everything marked as far as the variety that it's in and if you notice they're brown and uh, that means they're ready for the winter so what's happening here is I have to wait for the first frost and then in, in the first frost what's gonna happen is the leaves are gonna start to fall off Okay, and then the second frost, all the leaves should be gone. And if they're not gone, you need to get rid of them. Because that means it's gone dormant. The second frost means it's gone dormant. And all that energy that's into the leaves and figs have drained down to the roots. And it's gone to sleep. Okay, so that's what I'm waiting for. That's why I got all these guys out here. And I used uh, a lot of my mulch, a wood mulch that I've had in the back of the house that's been mulching for about four years. So that's excellent stuff, it's like gold. So that's these guys here. And what I'm gonna be doing with these, I'm gonna have to cover them up. I'll show you that in another video when I get there. But what I did is I bagged up all these leaves. I've got about 14 bags here. Uh, you can see they're gonna stay here I'm gonna use them as insulation for these little guys because when they're this small you have to cover them some way whether you put them in a garage or you you put them in uh, a lean-to or whatever whatever you have you have to cover them from the winds and the cold it's very important okay so uh, let me show you let me go on a little further. I want to show you what I've done in my greenhouse. Follow me, man. Here we go. Okay, before we go into the greenhouse, I want to show you, I'm backing up here. I put a top, a tarp over the whole greenhouse because the plastic would not be able to uh, take on the cold and the winds and the snow it would prob probably rip it apart so this is a heavy duty tarp that I once was going to use on my boat but that's not here anymore so as you can see I have uh, some cinder blocks there tied onto the cinder blocks for a little weight I'll probably add some more some more weight uh, I have uh, all the way in the back there I've got uh, some uh, well, actually, I have them right here. These guys, I may, I may lay on top of the cinder blocks for more weight. Okay, so I got that. And as you can see here, I have it all tied up all the way around. I crimped it around the door because I don't want this thing to uh, come off. I mean, it is temporary. It's not like I'm going to have this next year. I don't believe I am. I, I, I have all the things coming, greenhouses. All right, let me show you what I got inside. 
Okay, here we go. Come into my house, lovely bright house, and be one of the wonderful people. All right, so here, let me show you what I have here. Uh, these blue tanks were actually one, one large uh, container that I cut in half, and they're all in here. All these guys are in here. I'm gonna back up and show you. They're all in uh, seven gallon, five gallon, most of them se seven gallon, all of them, every single one of them. So uh, take a look. And that's what I got. Now, it's gonna be sealed up pretty nicely. I mean, even though it's 53 outside right now, in here it's, uh, it's about 58, but that's okay because it's gonna go dormant. And what happens is, uh, come the spring, or just before spring, these guys are going to wake up a lot earlier than these guys outside. But uh, it's going to be close because I'm going to have the, the guys outside uh, covered. Now, when, it, when they get dormant, I will come in and probably get rid of all the, uh, the green stuff. And then just lock the door and leave them alone. It's ready to go. Because I don't have to cover it. I have the cover on it. Which is double. Double cover, actually. With the plastic. And that's it. And that's where I'm at, guys. So, uh, hey. You enjoy my videos? Subscribe. Got a lot of good stuff coming up. Enjoy the ride, my friends. God bless.